Hey guys, Alex here, and we are gonna start chapter one with Keats. I wonder if some people actually just decide to do, like, I'm gonna do the whole game with Ellen, or I'm gonna do the whole game with Keats. But I don't know, I prefer doing it with both, just seeing how it goes every chapter. Okay, so what does it say? Uh, Keats has witnessed the type of supernatural event that he's usually extremely skeptical about. He finds himself obsessing on both a murder and a netherworld. <laughs> He's obsessing on both of them? <laughs> obsessing on murder and the netherworld? Yeah, I would just be plain surprised about the netherworld. And uh, yeah, but obsessing is, is kind of a weird word to use here, I find. Um, Chapter 1, Mirage. There's too much I don't know. Who was that on the phone? And the lady who died on the cliff? What was her relationship with the girl who passed out? What happened? Was it all just a dream? Maybe it's time I visited the Suzette to find out. <laughs> I tried something different with his voice. <laughs> I don't think that worked at all, but whatever. <laughs> Have a conversation. See me doze off at my pub. None of the villagers are out and about after dark, so I close early. Please come back when I'm open. The bridge house. So you guys, I'm gonna have a look around again, as I always do. Even though there's probably nothing to look at, I'm still gonna talk to everyone. Yeah, kind of expecting to see nothing here. Can I sit down? Nope, I cannot. Let's go check out the cemetery. Whoa. Yeah, should not be going there. So the door will be locked. Yeah, I kinda knew there would be nothing here, but still wanted to check just in case. And it's a video game I like so much that I just wanna like check everything out. <laughs> You're investigating the death of the lady on the cliff. Best to let sleeping dogs lie, if you ask me. My husband in particular doesn't like discussing events from the past. No one answers. Oh, I could swear someone's inside. There probably is someone inside, but he just doesn't want to talk. There's probably no one here. I wonder, am I supposed to go talk to Suzette also? Probably. Ah, 
I'm Charlotte. I live with my uncle. My uncle loves talking to people, you know. That's why everyone asks him for help. I hope you can help too. My uncle just might ask you to help. You never know. If not now, I'm sure he will before long. An accident is probably gonna happen and there will be people on this bed at some point in the game, in another chapter maybe. I really doubt there's anything at the lighthouse, well before the lighthouse. I wonder, did someone break the bridge between this place and the lighthouse? How am I supposed to get there? Maybe the lighthouse keeper knows. But the door will be locked. Well, at least that's done. I don't have to. <laughs> I don't have to go back again. Except in the next chapter, probably. Round up, having a look just to be sure there's nothing. I need to go to Suzette's house. Is this Suzette's house? No pub owner. Suzette is probably further down. You again? I'm investigating the woman who fell from the cliff. I heard her daughter lives in this village. No connection? What about this doll? Then how about this? What? How did you? October 1989, 17 years ago. Looks like a happy family, doesn't it? Give me that! Hey, calm down. Your mother asked me to do this. What? Impossible! But, this photo, they're smiling. Is this really them? My mother held that doll precious. This photo is from before. Yeah, they were never, <laughs> this is too fast. <laughs> yeah, they were never like this. Is it strange to you? The only mother I knew was a monster. She wanted you to leave the village. Surely she cared about you. She can't be that bad. Fine! Then you find out who killed my mother! And what happened to my family! Very well. But I'll have to borrow that photo. <laughs> oh, can I look at the Barbie doll again? You're going to try to find out more about my mother? I can figure it out. Why did she come to this village anyway? And... Why was she killed? I hope when I screamed I didn't scream like too loud into the microphone. Probably did. Even though I didn't really scream so it kind of sounded off a little. I guess I got a picture. <gasps> Isn't that Hervey? Oh. 
Well, I'll be damned. There really is a photo. If Suzette was the daughter of the lady who died on the cliff, who was the other girl? I brought her to this hut yesterday. It's time I asked a few questions. Harriet's home. You're investigating the death of the lady on the cliff? I don't know anything about it. I can go to the cliff. I don't know anything about it. I can go to the cliff. Okay, she's repeating the same thing over and over again. Let's ask this guy. Oh yes, the murder on the cliff. So the journalist has turned detective, has he? Well, there was a girl who came up from the coast dripping wet. No sane person would have a dip in the sea at this time of the year. Oh, and there's also someone who claims to be a reporter. Boy, I don't believe it. Any stranger to this village is bound to raise suspicion. That was the same conversation as before. We met on the cliff. I'm Keats. I work for magazine. I'm Helen. That woman was not your mother after all. Fortunate news despite misfortunate circumstances. Did you know that woman? She phoned me for help, but I don't know why. A letter asked me here. Perhaps it was hers. The woman's daughter might know the truth. She lives nearby, her name's Suzette. Thank you. I will pay her visit. This is all so... dizzying. It's likely that the woman was murdered. This is a village close... This is a small close-knit village. Outsiders will be the prime suspects. You mean us? You are the only other person on the cliff. Whatever do you mean? Nothing. I'm just trying to get to the bottom of this. I only wanted to know about my past. Let's hope your past doesn't reveal anything unseemingly. I'm back. Looks like that's her up. All I've got to show now, all I've got to show for my efforts, is this photo. So, the memento of the dead is the ticket to the netherworld, hey? This I'll have to try. I'll hang around till nightfall, then go to the henge. I wonder if we should uh, maybe check out the rest of this place. Not maybe I'm gonna do it for sure. I'm gonna check the beach. I'm gonna cut it out for you guys because it's boring. And I'll tell you if I found out any object or saw anyone at the beach. Nope, you guys, I did not find out anything at the beach. So I guess there'll be no one, because it's not... it's during the day. Yeah. 
Okay, I'm gonna go back <laughs> to sleep. And I'll return at night with the memento. And we're gonna go and visit the pub also. His voice, his voice sounds so sexy. Wish I could do it his way. Oh, I'm so tired. Oh, I'm so tired. <laughs> that doesn't work. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'll try my best. Oh, I'm so tired. That's like more British than Irish. In the pub. My name is Guam. No, it's not. My name is Gu. No, Guam. Do you know about the picture book? It contains bountiful information on the folks. Yeah, you gave him a tip. I was going to do that. Shut your trap, Guam. The anxious knew how how to tra travel the netherworld. They sh shared the knowledge. He says the same thing. The question is, is anyone curious enough to let to let you? <laughs> the question is, is anyone curious enough to let you? <laughs> I don't know what that means! <laughs> to let you what? Once you knew your way about the netherworld a bit, I might be asking you for some help. Or well, looks like there are no quests for ye yet. is going to die. Whee! <laughs> Woo! Does he say the same thing? No, he doesn't. Wait. Do you know about the picture book? It contains bountiful information on the folks. Okay, nothing that useful. I guess all the doors are locked, right? No one's up at this hour. Wouldn't want to be rude. <laughs> that sounded like Dracula! <laughs> I don't know how to make his voice sound. I'm just gonna, I think I'm just gonna stick to my Keanu Reeves voice. <laughs> 